several ways you can do it. Like one of which is to take my collar tie hand and cross top his elbow and just dig under. There's an underhook right here. <coughs> if he's got me up here, it's the same kind of thing. You know, if I'm fighting here, I take the opposite hand and I pop his elbow to create an opening and I dig through that underhook. You want your underhook good and deep. I go up over his shoulder right here. And usually you're raising up on an underhook. See what I'm doing right here? So try that cross pop. You know, it's the first thing. We'll do different ones throughout these skills. But from here, even if you're tied up or whatever, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step outside to the number one position, we call this, and we're going to tie sabaki. I'm going to take big steps right now. When you're competing, you may shorten them into little stutter steps, but I want you to see this movement. So I'm going to take a big step, pull on the underhook. That makes him square. I lower my level, and I'm doing a, a hooking motion right here. Same time, I'm grabbing and I'm driving. It's almost like a double with this hand, but the other side, not just a trip, but this kind of motion, like a compass. You know, where the needle's on the ground and the compass is making an arc. So what we want when we're fighting is a guy seeing the square. The problem is, some of you guys staggered their stance. And if he's staggered with this foot back, you know, the other way, I can't reach that foot. I'm vulnerable. You can reach down, scoop me or something. So setups are everything. But let's cover again. So we're going to go, we grab this side for Sam. Both guys are righties right now. He's got this collar tie. He's giving me hell. So I'm going to take my left hand, pop his elbow open, and dig under for that collar tie, or for the underhook right here. Now I'm going to step to the number one position, and using the momentum that that generates, I'm going to draw this back foot forward, hopefully. Pull it on the underhook real quick. Lower your level. Drive into Ochi Guard inside trip. You notice I'm grabbing the leg. It's kind of a hybrid. Almost like a cross between a double and an inside trip. But lower your level way down and drive. All right? Try that. Have one guy get you in a collar tie, cross pop, dig for that underhook, step to number one position, swinging, lower your level and hit it. Let's go. We'll watch some of the guys do the skill here on this okay, particular move. Okay. Uh, if you can, for your wrist, you grab this. If you can, now, if you can step outside, this one. There we have it. I think that good illustration of what John wanted now, the guys right to do. Now, should be your ocho. Right? Yeah. So step in. Watching yeah, Derek and Mike body. train here. Yeah. Lower down. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Good work. Lower down just a little more. Sooner. See some of the other guys working in here. Yeah. If you're standing straight up, maybe he can wing you down, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Way down about Come back on these guys. They seem to be doing a yeah. pretty good drill here. We'll watch this. Nice, nice job. Uh, we might have been a little kind of did a little coachy actually in inside leg action. Done. Yeah. There we go. I don't. I don't want to let that I'm left handed, but I do most of the stuff. Do you want to do it left? If you don't, I mean, it throws a lot of people off. Let's say I'm, I have the right one now. So I'm going to step outside to my left, and I'm going to use that momentum to pull on this arm. So I step outside. Right there. Now it's going to lower down. Down low. It's okay. I went down so I didn't want to get All right. Sir. There you go. Yeah, it puts you in a bowler with your back on your heels, your feet are spread, and they're in an open stance. Right. So there we have the uh, underhook. Pivot, little Tai Sabaki action, movement action, and the Ochigari major in the loop.
Beautiful job. And there we have it. I should mention that. I try for a, you know, I try for some kind of trip. I don't care if it's here or there. I may be over under, you know. But you're always trying to do something with your camera. Yeah, I, I do because he's working with it. You know, he's coming back up trying to yank me and do things. Yeah. I should mention that probably, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Why don't you show us for the video, guys, what we're doing here? Oh, well, you should go ahead and show. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it. All right. So, controlling from collar tight grip, he's probably beating me on the grip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give up on my own collar tight grip, but I'm going to open his up. So I let go of the head, open up, and then as I take that step forward, I get a nice deep underhook, control the shoulder. You know, some of you might want to do that. But we're going to do a turn after this, and it's easier with the, the near side shoulder. So just keep your forward foot where it is after you take that step. And then when you turn, you see how he moves over right there. My foot's in perfect position to just scoop down to catch his leg. Or Let me show it for righty. Harry, can I use you a second? Steve always got his camera going here, so we're going to film. So I've attained an underhook. And you know, this is presumed, this leg is back. You know, we're two righties and a stagnant stance. Maybe we get to an over under position. I'm under here, over on the opposite side. I'm controlling that other arm. Now I'm going to step to the outside, pull on the underhook, lower my level, and then I'm going to hit that OGRI right there. Because it puts him in a open, like an open stance, a square stance. So what I'm trying to do is draw that rear leg forward. Let's look at it again. Is this a good angle, Steve? Perfect, yeah. So I've attained the underhook, and what we were doing before he's beat me on this collar tie, I release the hand, pop it, come under, and I close up that space. I keep my elbow down so that he doesn't get under me. Keep my elbow down, but I look for a, a wrist. And now I'm gonna step outside. I gotta create motion. If he's really staggered, I can't reach an inside trip. That's a good attack for me. I can't reach it. Yeah. So I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna pull on the under. There it is. I'm gonna fight there. Okay? Draw the rear leg forward. Thanks guys.